Welcome back folks, this is Shane. So today's video is a bit of a request from the community. A lot of people have been asking me what do I think about the Boss Nextone versus the Fender Tone Master Twin Amplifier. What are some of the pros and cons of both? And I had a lot of questions about this regarding pedals and all that kind of stuff. So this video is gonna hopefully answer that and it will give you my thoughts about which one I like best as well as actually me for the first time right now comparing them side by side. This is something I haven't done either. I've used both live a number of times and I've used both in this room a number of times, but never at the same time. So this should be a bit of fun. We're gonna start with the clean tones to begin with, then we'll try some pedals, then we'll go over some of the pros and cons about both as well, while testing it with some pedals and different ways. So let's do it. Let's start off with some clean tones. I'm currently plugged into the next tone using the reverb that's built into the amplifier as well. It's a really great and musical clean channel with the power attenuator up full. This is a Mexican standard Stratocaster from a few years back. Bridge and middle pickups, here we go. Nice, fat, full and fat clean tone. And now over to the twin. Back to the next tone for some of that single note stuff. So in terms of the clean channel, it basically comes down to which one you like the best and which one will fit in your room. If you have a really small room, you might not want the twin just based on its size although it is quite a bit lighter than the actual Boss Next Tone. But in terms of how many tones you can get out of each of these, the Boss Next Tone definitely has more sounds available, but the Twin does what it does and it does it extremely well. So it's up to you which one you like the best. Up next, I wanted to try some overdrive tones, starting with the Next Tone. This is the Royal Flush from VS Audio, my favorite overdrive. This is the left side. And let's try some lead stuff. <laughs> Sounds good. Over to the twin. Still neck pick up. It's a bit of a weird test in a way because the way I'm hearing it is the twin needs more top end on the overdrive than the next tone did. So what I might just do is turn up the tone control a little bit on the pedal, just to 12 o'clock. We'll give that one more shot. Back to the next tone. All right. I'm gonna say, I think the Boss Next Tone handles the overdrive pedal a little bit better. It sounds way more full and present in the room. The Twin has more of a scooped kind of sound to it, which is really interesting doing this test. I've played this guitar out at festivals and also at a few jam nights and all that kind of stuff. I've had no problems getting the sound on stage, but when you compare it like this, it's actually quite shocking how much more present in the room the Next Tone is in comparison to the Twin with the same pedal. Now it might vary pedal to pedal, but with the, what I've got on the floor right now, that's what I'm hearing. So over to bridge, 
and apply some sort of cord stuff now with both sides of the Royal Flush on, but I'm going to start with just the left side. <laughs> is loud. Holy crap. And over to the Tone Master Twin Reverb. things with any digital modeling amp although this takes pedals way better than like the Mustang and just about every other type of digital modeling amp I've played it still doesn't sound as present as like a solid state amp would in the room but it still sounds huge it's very very loud but when you do a comparison like this it really stands out that the actual boss amp seems to sound more present in the room it's just one of those things that I've it's hard to explain unless you actually hear it now I'm sure the Tone Master Twin will actually be recording extremely well also but I'm wondering if it comes up in the recording, kind of like how I'm hearing it in the room where when I'm pushing the actual boss with pedals, it does sound that little bit better in the room. So what we're gonna try now is something a little bit different. One side of the Royal Flush on, and then I'm gonna click in a clean boost and we're gonna see how this one goes. So this is still bridge pickup. <laughs> And that Nursey Citec Clean Boost really kicks up the volume nicely and that works really, really well. That's how, what I like to use with this amp. The Royal Flush and a Clean Boost seems to work really well. Let's try the same thing. Back to the next tone. Here we go. So this is just with the Royal Flush on to start with and then the Clean Boost. <laughs> So there's a massive difference between both of these and that's just confirmed it. I still like what I'm hearing out of the twin, but it definitely doesn't sound quite as, as real or realistic as the actual Boss Next Tone. And that's probably because it has a dedicated clean channel that you can then sort of stack the other effects within the amp on. So it may have the advantage there, but I mean, both of these can be used live with pedals, no worries. Let me know what you're hearing on the recording as well. I'm only hearing this in the room as of shooting this, obviously. So. For me, I think the next tone just has a little bit more sort of thump behind it than the actual twin, but the twin sort of has this spread of sound that kind of fills the room. It's a very different experience. Whereas this one just feels like it's got a laser beam coming straight out from it. So yeah, that's kind of how I'm hearing it in the room. So one of the major advantages or disadvantages, depending on how you want to look at it, of the Boss Next Tone is the fact that it has some built-in effects. It doesn't have anywhere near the amount of effects that the Boss Katana has or anything like that. It's very, very simple. And one of the things I love about it is it's built-in delay. I've got it set to an analog delay and I think it sounds really cool. We're going to compare that now to the actual analog delay on the floor. So let's start with that. This is the analog delay. This is the Prisoner from Jacques. Here we go. Beautiful. And now over to the actual amp delay. Delay sounds really cool. And back to the prisoner. So 
So this is a really great time to mention that the Boss Next Tone, I almost call it the Katana, actually has an effects loop not only on the amplifier but with the foot switch if you buy it as well. It has an effects loop, you can just plug something in and click it on and off. That's a huge advantage over the Fender Tone Master Twin. It doesn't have an effects loop. The actual Fender Twin doesn't have an effects loop either. So at least not the versions that I've owned over the years or tried. So yeah, that's one of the advantages clearly of the actual next tone is the fact that it sounds great with the delay going straight into the front, but you can also run it through an effects loop. Let's try the Fender Twin now with the pedal and see how it handles that. Sounds beautiful. I'm actually going to give the nod tone-wise to the Fender on the Clean channel, or, or Clean, with some delay going into the front end. I think that sounds great. Where I think the actual Boss shines is using just the onboard delay. It's nice and clean, doesn't drop your volume, doesn't do anything weird, just works. And you have it. So even if you don't have an effects pedal that does delay, you'll have one with the amp. So that's one advantage. Let's try the Fender again. And back to the next tone using the delay into the front. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that tone either actually, so yeah, both sound pretty cool. And lastly, let's try both amps with all the effects on it and see how they stack up. So both sides of the Royal Flush, the uh, Citec Nursey boost pedal, and the Prisoner Delay. Here we go, I've actually turned the amp down off camera because it was really loud. This is bridge pickup. Over to the twin, same stuff. They both handle the pedals no problems at all. Just a very different experience using them both next to each other like this. Like I said at the start of the video, I've used these multiple times out live and on their own, but never to like side by side like this is where you can really hear the differences, not only in their character, but also how well they may handle certain types of pedals. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you want to find out more about these amps, links will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.